welcome to my channel! Today I wanted to introduce the One Piece card game characters from the new Straw Hat Luffy deck. I know most of my viewers are Dragon Ball Super card game fans, and since I wanted to include some One Piece openings in the future, I thought that it would be good to do a brief introduction of Straw Hat Luffy's crew members because I think it's much more fun to play the cards once you know the characters and the story behind those characters. It took me about 5 months to go through 600 episodes of One Piece, and I think I'm on track to catch up with all of the episodes before its official release date in December. I am really excited for the One Piece card game to be released and I hope you guys are as well. So this is the leader card. This character is of course um, Straw Hat Luffy, also known as Mugiwarano Luffy. He ate the gum gum devil fruit that makes him be able to turn his body into rubber. As of episode 600, he has two transformations. One is gear 2 which allows him to pump blood all over his body to make him strong and the other one is gear 3 where he bites his thumb to blow air into his body so it becomes really big and powerful. The leader card has 5k power and its effect allows you to attach one restadon to a leader card or a character card. This is also a Luffy character but this is a character card with 5 cost dawn and 6k power. This card has rush which allows you to attack on the turn that you play the character and when you attach two dons to it your opponent cannot block with a blocker. This character card is one of my favorite cards in the deck that I often use as a finishing blow. This card is called Gum Gum Jet Pistol and this is the name of one of Luffy's attacks. This card is pretty cool because it allows you to pop a character card with 6k power or under. It has trigger which means that if you see them from your life then it can trigger the effect and you can KO one of their character cards 6k or less. So I think instead of paying for energy to actually play the card, it is the best when you see it in your life. This is Zoro, the first crew member of Luffy's crew. He is a swordsman with 3 katanas and this card allows you to gain extra 1k when you attach 1 dawn to it, making it a 7k attack. The third character is Nami. She's the navigator of the crew and she can control weather. The effect on this card allows you to attach a rested dawn to a leader or a character card. I think she is really good to see on your opening hand. If I usually don't see Nami or Thousand Sunny, I will mulligan my entire hand. This character is Usopp and he was also known as Soga King. He's extremely good at bluffing and he uses slingshot as his attacking mechanism. If you attach two dons to this card then your opponent cannot block with cards of 5k or more power. I think this card is pretty good against Kaido deck and Kid deck because I think Kaido had a 5k blocker and Kid had a 7k blocker but it's like kind of useless if you're doing a mirror match against Straw Hat because his blocker like Chopper is only 1k. This is Sanji and he is the third strongest character in the Straw Hat crew. He is a cook and he only uses his leg to fight because he uses his hand to cook. This card has rush when you attach two dons and it only costs two so it is a pretty good card to play. This is one of Sanji's special attacks. It's called Diablo Jumbo. With one energy, you can use this effect in one of your cards and your opponent cannot block that attack. Ooh, this card is Tony Tony Chopper. He is a reindeer that ate devil fruit and he is also the doctor of the crew. This card is a 1k blocker but it only costs 1 energy so I think it's pretty good. This is one of the special skills of Chopper. It's called Guard Point and basically you can just pay 1 dawn and give one of your card 3k power. So it is a really good defensive card. The next character is Nika Robin. She is the archaeologist of the crew and she can read ancient polygraph. She was hunted by the world government because there was a hundred years of gap in history that they didn't want people to find out but she can read the polygraphs to find out what happened in that period of history and in the polygraphs it also mentioned a deadly weapon that can potentially destroy the world. Her devil fruit ability is to replicate her limbs on any of the surfaces. I really do like her devil fruit power. This character is Frankie. He is a cyborg and he is also a perv. He's the shipwright of the crew and his energy source which is very interesting is actually Cola. He built Thousand Sunny which is this card and Thousand Sunny is a stage card that allows you to give 1k power to any character card or leader card. This character is Soul King Brook. He is a skeleton that ate the devil full power to not be able to die. When you play him, this card effect allows you to attach two Restodons to characters but I don't really use this effect. I normally just use him for his 2k counter power. This is the last member of the crew and his Jinbei. He 
is a whale shark fisherman and a friend of Ace, who is Luffy's big brother. Jinbei is a former warlord, and as of the 600th episode, he didn't join the crew yet, but I've heard that he's gonna be joining the crew later. He can do fishman karate, and this card skill allows him to give 1k power to any other character or leader card when he attacks. That was pretty much the end of Luffy's cruise, and we have two more cards in the deck that are not part of the crew. This is Vivi, she is the princess of Alabasta, and Luffy saved her country by fighting with Crocodile. Crocodile is a villain that can turn into sand, and this last card is her pet dog, Karu. So this was the brief introduction of One Piece card characters in the Straw Hat starter deck, and I'm very excited to open some One Piece booster boxes in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and thank you guys for watching my video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!